I feel like talking about <clears throat> one of our biggest exercises that we do um, at our Evolving Out Loud events. Um, it's really something that has changed my life and our team's life and many, many people that come to Evolving Out Loud. Um, and I want to show it to you because it's crazy, it's trippy, it's completely effective, and um, it actually shows you not only new avenues, but it taps into your creativity, it changes the way you see things, it puts you in the solution and not the problem, it gets you to experience the feeling of the thing you want already having been done, it's just everything all in one. And it's called Kylego. I was in a car with my friend Diego, probably six years ago, seven years ago. And I was on my way to an audition. And at the time I was in my head about auditions. And I decided to talk about the audition that was coming up on the way to the audition, but I started talking about it as if it had already happened. And I just started talking about this audition as if I nailed it and was so good. And here I was in my head. And when I started saying to my friend Diego, <clears throat> I just started going, I don't know what happened, but I was just, I got in the pocket, I got in the zone, and I was so good. And I immediately, just in saying that, started feeling good. I started feeling better. And then I said, I, I don't know, I just got in the zone. And I pictured it as if it already happened. It was like yesterday in my mind. And so I kept going. I was like, it was so fun and so creative and so playful. And I just was so happy and excited in the moment and everything and then Diego started talking to me about my audition too he goes dude I remember it you got back in the car and you were so in the zone and you were so um, excited and you totally got it and we just kept going and then I went to the audition and it was so good I in my mind had already done it I had tapped into my creativity I had replaced the fear that was coming up with um, a result as if it already happened and um, I felt really good. I didn't get the part. It went to like an old woman or something. But I still felt completely in the pocket, completely amazing. And um, then when he and I drove home, he was uh, staying with me over the summer or the fall, I think. And we just started talking about the rest of the day as if it already happened. And we said, I remember when we got home and... Uh, we started, uh, you know, answering all those emails and just doing all this other stuff and cleaning the house and hanging out. And we had so much fun. And then right when I said that, like, I really actually felt the feeling of it having been done and wanting to do it. So right when I got home, I suddenly ended procrastination with this. And the next day I started talking about the day coming up as if it had already happened. So I just said, I had the best day of my life yesterday, but it hadn't happened yet. And I, but right away when I said that, my mind started coming up with immediately how that happened. And we don't understand that our minds often, um, you say, man, I had the worst day, and your mind, it's like Google. It wants to figure out the fastest way there. So if you say, I had the worst day of my life, then your mind goes, well, let's talk about it. Why? Why was it the worst day? And then it comes up with evidence to support what you just said. So if you say how your life is incredible, immediately your mind goes, how, why? And it comes up. And, you, and if you make up, I had the greatest day of my life before you have it, your mind will start to come up with how to make it really good so that you actually have an incredible day. So if I wake up in the morning and talk about the day coming up as if it was yesterday and immediately start going, I had the best day of my life yesterday, I can feel my mind actually shift and start to come up with opening up new possibilities for how. So if I talk about tomorrow as if it was yesterday, right? Like, God, I had the best day of my life. Like our team got together. We had the best Calego session F ever. It's called Calego. This exercise is called Calego because it's my name and Diego's together. We had the best exercise ever. We did the Calego session. Um, <clears throat> I went and worked out and I had so much fun at the gym. And then I just enjoyed the day. And I started to, you know, I had so much more fun with my family. I felt so good. I just enjoyed the silence a little bit more. I got to walk the pups a lot longer. And I don't know, I just had the best day ever. And just kind of did this exercise again and tapped into more creativity and felt more relaxed and more thankful. As I do this, I'm already like, 
I don't want to say the corny cliche phrase of changing my vibration, but I'm already starting to create in my mind my day. But by doing it as a past tense, my mind stores it as fact because everything that's happened in our past is true to us. We are so practiced in anything that already happened is true. So your mind accepts it and it makes it work. Most of us, when we try to envision the future, we know that we actually aren't sure if that's working. So when you're picturing your amazing new future, your mind is going, is this working? This is stupid. I don't even know. But when you make your future past tense, your mind figures out how to make that happen. So you could do anything. You could go, how I had the greatest relationship ever. I don't know. I just started being patient. I started really listening to the person. I started just being, you know, I started saying no to the, if you're single and you're going on dates, I started really saying no to the people that don't align and then really waited till I found this incredible person. And until then, I just felt good with myself and didn't need anyone. I just found like you're immediately creating an intention and your mind is now seeing it as having been done. And you're, you prove to yourself that that's possible because your mind actually feels it as completed. So you're, once you feel that it's possible, you already release your doubts about the thing. So think of anything you're worried about and go to the other side of it and how the what the greatest case scenario is or could be, but as if it already happened. Like if you're really nervous and you're about to speak on stage and you start going, yeah, I was nervous, but then I don't know what happened. I got in the pocket. I went on the stage. I was so funny. I was so fun. I was so free and they loved me and I just enjoyed being on the stage and I felt this embodiment of me on the stage. <clears throat> There's no room for stage fright to last if you talk that way. And one of the reasons we get fears is because we're bored <laughs> and our mind isn't creating. And when you do this, you're actually creating with your mind. You're coming up with scenarios. Now, You've seen me just do this exercise a couple times now on this video, 30, 40 seconds each, something like that. What would happen if I did this for an hour? How different would my day be? How different would my outcome be? How free would I feel? How high would I feel? How connected would I feel? And how, would I, how much would I be able to see infinite possibility from that place, especially if I practice this every day? Now, my offer to you is to hear this, but actually try it. Try and talk about a month later from now as if it already happened. Or picture that this video that you're watching right now, you watched a month ago. And now you have this new life. It's a month later. Now you're whatever, eight pounds lighter. Or you're over that addiction. Or you're, you're feeling more centered. Or you're more grateful now. Or you sold the house. Or you bought the other house. Or you asked the person out. Or now you live in this area. Or you've written three chapters of your new book. If you actually grab a partner and show them this video and show them how to do it, and you pick that one of you is an A and one of you is a B, and that the A is just going to tell the B for 10 minutes about their new life, and you just go, I had the most amazing, amazing last month of my life. I got whatever. I, I impacted people more. I started making YouTube videos every day. I wrote one song a day. Whatever it is, you will feel the feeling of it being done. And you don't feel, what usually we feel when we have something coming up is the work that we have to do on the way there. So if you picture going to the gym you, and, and how you got fit, you're mostly picturing, I got to get up, I got to go to the gym, I got to work out. But if you instead picture, now that I'm 160 pounds and I have 7% body uh, fat, you know, like I can do all these other things. I go on hikes now. I feel so good. You actually picture it being done and you don't picture the work on the way there. You picture the new life you have, the result. So that creates an excitement that you actually don't even notice the work when you're doing it. You're just sitting here picturing what you're heading towards. This is a huge deal because it steers you. It gives you intention. It actually helps you create and it removes fear from your life because you're re replacing it with flow. Well, my team and I, starting tomorrow morning, are doing this exercise every day, every weekday for an hour a day for a year. And I remember that we did it for a year and now we have impacted the planet so much more. 
Now I'm so much happier. Now I feel so much freer. Now I feel so much more calm. Now I feel so much more excited mixed with calm. I feel so much more gratitude. I feel so um, bringing a new level of me to the world. I feel so thankful that our team is so much closer. Everyone on our team feels so much more centered in themselves and felt what happened when you create that much for uh, every day for a year, you know, and we're just so much closer. We're so much more impactful. We're so much more creative. Um, you know, I don't know, whatever you want to do, you could start with how you, how you racked 2 billion views last year. You could start with how you brought in a ton of money by being so helpful to the world, how you, how you created and manifested in, in a different way, how you, how you actually used yourself and, None of this matters until you do it. If you just hear me talk about this, this is just mental fodder that's actually blocking you from your creativity. So my dare to you is to start it, to actually see what happens when you do it. That's the Kylego exercise. And that's why it is a total access point to a lot of new possibilities.